All right, guys, today we are doing a nine mile float, but what we are doing is focusing just on about five or six of the holes and skipping all the mediocre holes. In fact, I'm driving a whole hour and going three miles down without even fishing right now. That way, by the time we get down there at about 11 o'clock, we'll only have five miles of the float left and have more time to focus on those good holes. We had to skip a couple that looked really nice, but I got certain ones picked out that we're gonna fish. Um, so, because we don't wanna have to hightail it an hour before dark, we're wondering how far away we are from the car. This way we have a peace of mind to know we're three miles down river and we'll have eight good hours, nine good hours to do the last five miles. So should be a good day. There is a few people out here because it's Sunday and it's July 4th weekend. The day it's July, July 5th, isn't it? Yeah, July 5th. So there was a lot of boats in the parking lot. We haven't encountered them yet except for one out of the nine, but they're gonna be down river here. In about another mile or two, we're gonna start running into them. I'm hoping to avoid them, but unfortunately, if there was nine of them at nine in the morning, there'll be about 20 of them by the afternoon. Victor of a goggle eye. Wow, might wanna keep him. He's... You should stop. I can't. Guy, you're gonna have to fix your lure. Guys, this goggle eye is a good eight inch or eight inch or yeah. Whoa. Now that's a nice goggle eye right there. Yes indeed. Watch your pole. I see it. Well you need to hurry up. It's getting ready to hit the tree right now. Whew. You watch your pole. Oh, you're all right. Dad, is that good for a worm? God, I know. That was a really nice goggle eye. All right, it's going to catch here in a minute. It'll start pulling really hard. Hope, hope it stays on. Really hope. We're about to find out. It could pull off. Ooh. It's going to have us awkward, but man, that was a nice goggle eye. Goodness gracious. Really nice. Guys. Oh, that's a nice wall. He's about 22, 23 inches. Oh, wow. Well, there's our fish. He's about 24 inches, man. That's a walleye. Nice walleye. Wow. I better not hold him. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. That is nice, guys. She just got a nice walleye. We're going to have to get him measured. Uh, let me... Oh my goodness, it paid off now. We've already had an excellent day now. I'm going to measure him. Hold on. Good God. He's, let me measure it. He's at least 23. She always beats me lately. <laughs> right when I almost get it. Hold its head. Okay. 20. 20. 20 inches. Okay, you need to let me take him off and then I want you to hold it. You need to get a good picture of this. Don't, don't, don't pull it. Do you want to keep it? Yeah. Throw it in the cooler? Okay. I don't blame you for wanting to. His eyes are ruined anyway. Now it's a no eye. Don't, can you put it on the ground? Not on the top of the... I got it. <sighs> There's your lure. We're gonna have to. I'm gonna have the motor over here so we can stop. Where's the clip? It's not a typical place for them at all. God, you got your best personal best. That's Wilma's personal best walleye, guys. 
she's never caught them over 14 inches before. Not really. You always get the little ones. That's a magic Yeah. God, that's what I caught mine on an 11 point. I'm putting that on. I know. And just keep throwing the crankbait. Yeah. Well, guys, we were starting to doubt our day, and these we thought these fish were dead slow. You're still far over here. here, that full moon might always prevail. Okay, when you hold this fish, hold it on this side. Yeah, let's get out and do it. Hold it on this side, this side of the fish, because its eyes messed up, so you want to hold it this way. Now be careful with him. Guys, I'm going to wash my hands real quick, and then we're going to get a good photo of Wilma's personal best walleye. She finally, after several years, she's actually caught one bigger than I have in a long time. Let's try to get his fin to go up. It won't. They look cooler like that. Your fingers are covering too much of the fish like that, though. No, it's just not really Okay. Your fingers are... Okay. Put your fingers down. Mm. It's a nice walleye, guys. It looks funny, though, because your fingers are covering the whole... Put your hands underneath it. But they cannot hold the... the I know. Fins. Well, we'll do a little bit like this. Well, guys, once again on the Bandit Crawdad crankbait, just like I caught in in the other river a couple weeks ago, about three weeks ago. Actually, it was four weeks ago. That was a full moon, too. Okay, put your hands underneath. Okay. Those fingers underneath, completely underneath its belly, because you're covering a lot of the fish. Okay. <sighs> Try back. Yeah, I think the sun... That is a nice walleye, guys. Sometimes you don't have to wait till fall to get these walleye. Yeah, Sometimes they, them. once in a while, you'll catch them in the summer. That's really fat. Feel me holding it a minute. Really fat. Dang, that's a really big, nice fish. I wish I could get his fin to go up. Like that, if I... Okay. Trying to hold it where you can't see. Yeah. Go this way, where you can get that boat. That way. Okay. That is awesome. Yep. Is it working right? Mhm. Mm Guys, what a fish! We thought he was way bigger than what he is because he's big for 19 inches. Wow. He's 20. Or 20. 19. Yeah, you're done. Okay. Okay, good. Throw it in the cooler. Mine. Throw, it in, the, throw it in the cooler. Again. Okay, let me wash my hands. Yeah, we're going back up there. I told you it was a walleye. Hmm. I seen its white tail. Lucky dog. You got the odd fish of the day and the goggle eye. You're on the wrong side, it's a messed up eye. That won't matter a whole lot. Right, just like that, down, when he was down, because the shade hits it. There you go, because it was blocking the, hold it down more. Yeah. Man, that is awesome. Perfect, the way you're holding it, just like that. Okay. Hold on. A little longer. Making his head point down a little bit, even it out. Yeah, just like that. Wow, guys, what a day. I get it. Okay. Ooh. I guess put him in the cooler. I'll just have to throw the anchor. I can't clip to anything. It ain't gonna clip to that grass unless you wanna try to throw it on that grass. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, 
time to change my battery again too. Well, this is the worst I've ever done here. Something out of here. All right guys, I got me a nice goggle eye. He came up completely to the top of the water right at the canoe and I missed him the first time and I threw it right back and he came back. I, I, I thought at first, oh, he'll never come back after that. And I got lucky and he did. He's a big nine incher. <sighs> nice goggle eye. Oh yeah, look at that, hon. A nice one. Beautiful saddle bass, guys. Watch your pole. And this one, watch your pole. Your pole. All right, guys, hey. We're getting them. We're not getting quantity, but every fish we're getting is quality. We got two nice goggle eye and the walleye, and that's basically it. A couple little tiny spotted bass, but we've gotten some real nice fish today. Oh, man, now that's what I like right there. Yes, indeed. Figured I'd try it for another 20 minutes or so, though. <coughs> Maybe we'll get lucky and get a big small mouth. <coughs> this is the very, very first time I have not seen them here. What are you doing? Huh? What are you guys doing over there? Taking a bath? Huh? Are y'all taking a bath, man? Moo moo, buckaroo. Just mediocre right here anyway. No hole. There's a couple good holes coming up, trust me. We haven't even gotten to them yet. You got it? All right, please be a walleye. Oh, small mouth. I think it's a small mouth. Oh, yeah, it, no, it's a big spotted. Oh my. Oh, you're gonna have to hold this after I take it off the hook. Here we go. That was, you can tell by the current that there's fish sitting there. I know. Yeah, I know. We're all right. It's gonna go right by. Here you go. Hold this and I'll zoom. Nice one. Yeah, it is. That's a big spot. God, it looks so good right there too, man. Probably get hung though. All right, Wilma just got a nice spotted bass for summertime anyway. He's about a pound and a half on the bandit crankbait. Hold that pose, it's messed up. Okay. Oh, it keeps getting stuck. A little, hold on. Okay. Good job, honey. Yeah. Man. Okay. Look at all these good looking spots, man. All through there, back in there. Oh my God, look at the drop off. Look at that hole. Look at that over there. You can see the gravel real shallow and then it just drops yeah. off. Oh, I could tell there was a fish right where you had was throwing. Shit. It'd be really good for crappie back in there in the fall where it's calm. Oh, yes. Oh man, what do I got? It's gotta be a bass. Catfish. Yeah, channel cat. Man, it's starting to be good, isn't it? The evening, maybe. 
All right, guys, I got me a nice little channel cat. Good God, man. Calm down. Oh, he's wrapped. Completely wrapped in the line like three times. Guys, not bad. We got to the magic hole and started catching fish again right at the beginning of the evening. It's five in the evening. Yeah, I'm going to. Heck yeah. I gotta tie my lure on first. Ooh, in front of that island too. This whole area. What? They're scared or something else was chasing them. My crankbait ain't swimming right there we go. Oh man, it looks good. You got one? Oh yeah, catfish. Catfish again. Another channel cat. What's the deal with that? Two catfish in a row, guys. Huh. I guess because this is a silt. This hole's real silty. Weird, man. Two in a row. Huh. Uh-oh, watch out. Yeah, it's smaller than the one I caught, but still okay. You can, you can hook your. Yeah. Give me that. Go around the end. Closer to the end. There you go. I need a too long. Yeah, but with the battery and everything, it's gonna be heavy. Real heavy. Oh boy. I hope it's worth it. Goodness gracious, my feet hurt so bad because of the rocks. I see minnows jumping, a lot of minnows and fish jumping. Let's do a couple feet at a time. Almost. That was a crappie there. <sighs> oh shit, your crankbait's on my pole. I gotta change my battery again. Do you? Yeah? Crappie! Oh man, nice crappie guys. Wilma got about a, he's about 11 or 12 inches. You didn't even know, she goes, I think I got a fish and the pole wasn't bent. It just looked like she had a, like a leaf stuck to it. Let me zoom in on you. Man, hold it up with the lure in its mouth too. Like sideways though. Man, that's awesome. Now we got a good variety now. What did I just say a minute ago? I know there's big crappie in here. Sure enough. That's happened to me a couple times this month, guys, where I'll say something. Like in fact, when I caught my walleye out of the river, I said, boy, it sure wouldn't be nice to get a walleye on accident. Can you hold him sideways once? That's a nice white crappie. You got it diagonal. It was a giant buffalo. 
Hold him straight. You got him diagonal. You're you're like this. No, hold it like this. There you go. You still want to do it diagonal. There you go. Just hold it like that for a minute. Man, we got some nice fish today now, guys. Fish they have caught a lot of species. And we ended up with everything except smallmouth for some reason. A nice one. Put him in the cooler. No, I don't want Wilma, real big. Keep tension on it. Oh, man. Now, you don't want to pick him up. We need gloves. Let's just pick it up by the bill. The, by the bill of the crankbait or you're going to risk losing it. Oh my guys. Woo. What a gar. That is a short nose, without a doubt a short nose. But I'm going to, I guess, once. He's hooked good. All right guys, short nose gar. Remember when you zoom, it keeps zooming. It'll keep growing. See, it gets stuck. Sure it's okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, it's a good. God, this water's piss warm. <laughs> it's uh. not even cold. <laughs> It's deep all through here too, you can tell. Really deep. A lot of fish in this hole, isn't there? Wish I could electroshock them just to see. Until next time guys, hit that like button and please subscribe.